okay, by the way you heard the title, obviously you know what's going on. Okay, this hollow this happened when I was like at least I think eleven, twelve or whatever like that. And let you guys know that I'm from Chicago where bullshit happens um on a daily basis. So this around this time it was really bad. I think it was really bad, but it was a little cool and bad at the same time. I was a little I I think I wanna scream for Halloween, I think. I wanna scream. I'm trick or treat with my sisters and stuff like that. We going to houses, picking up candy and stuff like that. We getting bag fulls of candy, you know what I'm saying? Getting all that good stuff. So we decide to um to go to a different neighborhood, right? And we chilling. Neighborhood's decent, all right? We think it's decent. So we go, we knock out this neighborhood, bro, like clean as fuck. We knock it out, right? We knock it out. They started as normal as any other day was. You know, I just got out of school. Like that, I got out of school, you know, got my costume, you know, get everything prepared, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. Uh, everything was chill, you know what I'm saying? Everything was cool, okay? It was when the time we got out. We left out, we left out the house, like, early as hell, you know? You smart as hell if you went outside early, you know, on Halloween and got your candy, cause you know how it, how it is at night and shit when motherfuckers like vultures and shit getting candy and shit like literally block filled with kids, bro. Blocks everywhere filled with kids, bro. Going up and down the street getting candy. It was kind of lit. It was real lit. It was a lit Halloween until it turned to a, a really bad Halloween. Me, my sister, my other sister, or my sister's friend, and my other sister's friend, and I don't know who else was with us. Um, we was just chilling, walking, right. Um, this is the first incident that had them happening, right. We all chilling, we walking uh, right here on the sidewalk. And the street is right here, right? The street right here. So we all chilling, right? We just, I don't know what we was talking about. I forgot what we was talking about. Uh, let me know, I was 12 or 11 or something like that. I have no idea what we were talking about. So a car pull up. Well, he didn't pull up, he drove like hella fast. And he, he threw an egg and he tried to hit us. But the thing about it was, he couldn't aim for shit. He couldn't aim for his life. He threw an egg and that shit literally dropped right behind, like right behind me, like let it be known. It was a frozen egg, so that shit would've hit me, bro, it's over with. We all, we just chilling. Um, we walking, and then a couple of my sister friends, you know, walk ahead of us, and then turn the corner around this dark, this, it kinda, it's like a dark alley, but at least like other houses and other cul-de-sacs, you know, holding that neighborhood and shit like that. We walking, and all we hear is and shit like that, paintball guns, my nigga, paintball guns. So, I'm not running over there, I ain't stupid. I had jumped over somebody's fence, bro, I jumped over somebody's fence. So, you know, I'm just chilling over there, and then all, let it be known, like, they was getting shot at, but the dudes couldn't shoot for shit. Like, they, they pulled up, and it was shooting at them, but they couldn't hit them because they couldn't shoot. It was missing and shit. I'm like, oh, damn. Because, you know, paintballs hurt. Can't nobody fake it if, if they get hit by a paintball because that shit hurt. Everybody knows that shit hurt. After that shit passed, we cool. We cool with shit, and you know what I'm saying? So, motherfuckers pull up again. We going through this alley by this gas station. So motherfuckers pull up again. So like, and I'm, I'm scared as fuck. I'm like, I'm only 11. I didn't know what the fuck was happening. I thought we was getting shot at by actual guns at first. And then I realized there was paintball guns. But I, I'm running. I hid behind a trash can. I seen the car just drive past. I'm like, come on, bro. What are y'all doing? What? So, and then um, what ended up happening was we decided to just, you know what? We said, fuck it. Let's go to the good neighborhood. You know, white neighborhood with all the good shit at. And nothing be happening over there. So to get over there, we have to cut through some neighborhood and then we had to cut through somebody, somebody's yard and shit like that. And some more bullshit happened, but we escaped it very quickly because we seen where those niggas was coming from. So we just turned the other way and then went through the other neighborhood. So we went through the neighborhood. We got to the white neighborhood. Everything cool, right? We cool. We think we cool. Turns out we ain't, we, we ain't go to the right neighborhood. We was in the wrong neighborhood because we was walking. I think we was walking um down the, down the street and it was a group of dudes down the street by this car. And then all you can see is one one dude, one dude just sitting like like this with, with a gun with the uh, paintball gun like this. And he started he started he started walking to him like oh hell no. Nah. We started running, and then we ran, and I got away. I'm pretty sure everybody else got away too. I, I got away. Like I said, I'm like burn us, my nigga, burn us. You know what I'm saying? Go on, go on, burn, go on. And then I hid behind some big ass tree, and they didn't see me or some shit like that. So. We dodging bullets right now, you know what I'm saying? Like like Neo from, from Matrix and shit, you know what I'm saying? It was real bad. I'm probably cut that out. <laughs> yeah, we, we all leaving unscathed, you know what I'm saying? We all unscathed, you know what I'm saying? Everything good. But then, this, this, is, where the, this is where the bad thing happens. Um, to one of us as a friend. Okay, we decided to go down the neighborhood we went down the first time. Don't know why we did this. Still don't know why we did this. I don't know. So we went down the same neighborhood, right? We chilling. You know, we walk in, getting candy, um, but the last couple houses didn't have candy, so we decided to just walk and then turn back, because we go back, we was gonna get ready to go back home, or go back to one of my friends, so I was just eat the candy and shit, because, you know, you can't eat your candy when you're at home, because, you know, parents be strict as hell, you know, so all that candy you be eating, I don't know. But I know why they did that shit, I know exactly why they did that shit. But, anyways, so we decided to go back, you know, we walking, and, and then, I don't know if these are the same niggas or not, um, but they drove up, right, pulled up, and started, 
rah, you know what I'm saying? You know, some shit like that. And then I'm thinking like, bro, these niggas do not give up. And I'm like, y'all, y'all, y'all not gonna hit nobody till it happened. Who the fuck are you? Eh? My sister friend, bro. I remember that shit to this day, bro. Nigga shot her straight in her ass. <laughs> Yo, he shot her straight in her ass. And she had on some jeans, some tight, I think some tight ass jeans or some shit. I think it was jeans or leggings. And if it was leggings, that shit hurt way worse. But all you can hear is like, ah, my ass, ah, my ass. And she was crying, bro. Like, oh. And then we decided, like, you know what, let's just go home, bro. Let's just go home. We we going home right now. Um, I didn't get hit. Thank God I didn't get hit because I'd be crying my ass off. You know what I'm saying? So what ended up happening was um, we went our way home, but for some reason my sister friends and this other dude wanted to make a pit stop or something like that. So they hop, they trying to get into some dude. Some I don't know what they was doing. They trying to peek at somebody's house or something. I don't know what they was doing. They decided to hop over fences, hop over two or three fences, and then climb up this, this nigga like a uh, stairwell or whatever it was. Or I don't know. It wasn't a ladder though. So the stairwell. I don't know what they did. But then he fucked around and came out the house. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. After that, I took off, bro. I took off, bro. It was no stopping me. I didn't know why I was going. I was scared out of my mind because I didn't know where the fuck I was at. So, like, let, let it be known. Let it be known. We know where we know where by our fucking house. So, we don't know what the fuck about to happen. We don't know what we about to run into. We don't know what the fuck is going to happen. I'm scared of my fucking mind. I'm about to piss my pants, bro, because I don't know what the fuck is going on. I am so fucking scared. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm going to do, bro. I don't know what I'm, I'm, gonna, do, what I'm gonna do. Because I, it seems like my sisters and them, they know where to go, but I'm young. I mean, I know my surroundings, but like, if I've never been around there at all, I'm not gonna know where I'm gonna go. I don't know where to go. I don't know who the fuck live around here. Or I don't know if any of these other guys live around the corner or something like that. I don't know what the fuck about to happen. So what, what I decided to do, like, let's just go home um, and just eat this candy, you know what I'm saying? I was eating my candy and shit, so I'm like, bro, I'm ready to go. I'm just thinking, I'm ready to go, bro. I'm ready to go. This shit is getting too scary. When we finally get back home, and it turns out, dudes that we seen have been driving around neighborhoods and shit doing the exact same thing to everybody. So we not the only victims, but the weird thing is they came up on us more than more than once, more than twice, like three times, I think, yeah. And that shit was so fucking scary. Bro, I never was, I was never so fucking scared in my life, bro. This shit, man. After that, I never um, went out that much as a kid. I usually go to parties or something like that, Halloween parties or something like that. But boy, should kick off over there too, but we ain't gonna get into that. We, we gonna say that for another video. So yeah, you know, if you guys enjoyed this story time and you wanna see more story times like this, make sure you drop a like. If I can get at least 10 likes, 10, 15 likes on... 10 to 15 likes of this video, um, I will be sure to post another video. Make sure you comment your favorite part of this video. Make sure you comment your stories, you know what I'm saying? Start with your stories. Um, one of the worst things that happened to you, you know, one of your um, really traumatic stories, because I have more of these, but this is one of the ones that I remember from a child, my childhood. Um, I have another one, which revolves uh, a PSP, when they were famous, when they were really famous. So if you guys want to hear that story, make sure you like the um, like the video, subscribe. I'm almost to 400 subscribers, so you know what I'm saying? We gonna grow, we gonna continue growing, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy Camille out, peace.